what is up you guys and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new so we are hopping into part two if you haven't seen part one yet i uploaded it yesterday so make sure that you go and check that out so you can be all caught up and know exactly what we're doing so i was actually filming a tiktok while i was doing this portion of my install so if you guys see me pull up my phone, that's what I'm doing. I'm not weird and like taking random pictures. I mean, I guess it is kind of weird, but TikTok, okay, just know that. But yeah, so I have this wig that we customized in the last video. This is a Beauty Forever hair wig. This is called the Piano Wig. 22 inches and a 13 by four lace closure. So yeah, so obviously I washed my hair and it was sitting in the towel. So I'm going ahead and towel drying it so that I can dry a little bit faster. I probably should have used a cotton shirt, but I couldn't grab one in time. I had to rush to get ready. Like I said, I did this for my birthday and my boyfriend was waiting on me. So that's also who I'm talking to in the video. But anyways, I'm going ahead and once my hair is just damp, not dripping wet, but damp, I'm going ahead and detangling my hair. I know it seems like I'm doing it a little bit rougher than I should, but I do have curly hair, so detangling is a little bit of a different process than other textures. So it may look a little rough, but I'm actually doing it pretty gentle. And once that's detangled all the way around the head, starting from the ends and working my way up so that we don't drag down knots and build bigger knots. What were we talking about? Was it that important? I don't think so. It probably wasn't. Probably just some random stuff. I seem real interested though. Get your hair detangled. Okay, so now I'm going ahead and sectioning off my hair with just a little bit of a hair tie. And I'm sectioning off the, it's like a third of my hair and I'm splitting that back third in half as well and detangling a little bit deeper just to make sure that it's really detangled so that we don't cause any problems because when the hair is really dry and actually like 100% dry detangling is going to be a bit more of a process let's just be real I was asking my boyfriend if he could hold my phone while I filmed the TikTok Y'all, I don't know how to do TikToks. I tried it for a little minute. I did like maybe three or four TikToks and I haven't gone back on the app since. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just not for me. All of my friends do it and they were like, you should try it. It's really fun and like easy, but like, I don't know. YouTube is more of my thing, okay? But I'm going ahead and blow drying my hair. I'm using the stretching method. It actually goes a lot faster this way. Since I have curly hair, it's a little bit harder to get into those grooves. But when I stretch it and pull it really nice and straight after I've combed it out really nice and flat or brushed it out, then taking the blow dryer over that and just blowing it out takes little to no time at all. And it's really easy to get to the root. So that's what I'm doing. And now that that's done, here's what the hair is looking like. I didn't take too much time blow drying my hair. Um, it just needed to be to where it was really easy to slip back. And actually, I just took the easy way out. I actually hate braiding my hair. If you know anything about me putting on my wigs, I hate braiding my hair. It's never braided. I always either have it pulled back in a nice slick little bun or I will put it in a ponytail like I'm doing here and sectioning off those little sections and braiding that to make it a lot easier. I actually suck at braiding to the scalp, so this is just a, it's a little secret, a little hack, a way to get around it. But yeah, so as you guys can see, I said be quiet because this is something that nobody's supposed to know about. But here I am, I finished doing it. They're not like the prettiest braids at all. And now I'm just taking bobby pins and pinning those braids up. Make sure that when you do this though, you do actually slick back your hair really nice and flat so that pinning it will actually make a difference. My boyfriend fell asleep in the middle of his Zoom class and it was so funny, but he was so cute. Anyways, as you guys can see, I grabbed a <laughs> wig cap that I'm struggling to get on my big head. Ow! Why did I say ow right now? I put this wig cap on my head. I put it up really far to the front, as far to the front as possible to make it easier further down the line and you'll see why. So now I'm grabbing some got to be freeze spray 
and I'm going to go ahead and spray the perimeter of my head, not all the way around, but just the front, like probably right in front of my hairline pretty much. And you can see here, just to get the wig cap to stick, I probably went a little bit further back than I needed to, um, but I like doing this and actually sticking the wig cap not only to my head, but to my hair. I know that may be kind of bad and like defeat the purpose, but anyways, that's just what I like to do when it feels a lot more secure. And I'm taking my blow dryer and blow drying that on medium heat, no, on medium speed, cool heat. And this way it doesn't dry too fast. And like, if you do it on hot, on a hot heat setting, a lot of people never explain this, but if you do it on a hot heat setting, it'll basically dry it too fast. So it won't have that time to get sticky, if that makes sense. So you wanna do it on a cool setting so that it can take its time and it'll actually adhere to your head. And now I'm taking some mini, these are brow scissors and I'm cutting down the middle first, just a little bit, all the way up to where the freeze spray stops and you'll be able to see where it is. And pulling it back as I go to about where I want it and once I get it to that position, I will go one side at a time and just drag those scissors down on that edge. You don't really have to worry about making a jagged line during this process because you will do that when you actually cut your lace. But as you guys can see, we do come up with the problem of having a little bit of extra hanging out. So just go back in, get a closer cut and then you can also go back on the edges and take a little bit of gel like got to be gel or anything and help slick that down really flat also another thing that i did wrong with this wig cap was i cut it a little bit too far on the sides i don't know if you guys could see um you can definitely see my hair was out but this is my only wig cap i couldn't redo it so anyways but I'm taking my foundation. I would actually recommend you not to use a liquid foundation. There's the self tanner spray that a lot of people use. You can use that or a nice foundation powder, but liquid could like mess with the glue or the free spray and mess with the adherence of the wig cap to your head. My boyfriend was like so shocked at how much it made me look bald, even though this was like the worst cap method ever. But <laughs> it was just funny to see his reaction. He was in the middle of class and he just looked over and I was just like bald. But again, you just wanna take your foundation, use your actual foundation shade to make the scalp look a lot more natural. And if it is a little too dark, once you put the wig on, you're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of concealer on the part, which I think I do later, so you'll be able to see that. And yeah, so I did briefly show me spraying the foundation just to secure on, just like a little bit with the got to be spray and <laughs> total fail. But I took a little bit of foundation onto the actual lace of the wig on the back side and just made it a little bit darker there. And then I went ahead and put the wig onto my head to see where everything fell. And I was just looking here and I realized that my parting probably wasn't as plucked as I wanted it to be and figuring out some little tweaks that I wanted to do before I glued it to the head. And as you guys can see, I kind of fixed it here and still could have done a little bit better, but it's fine. And again, filming TikToks, but I'm gonna take my Ghost Bond I was about to say spray my ghost bond wig glue oh my gosh can i speak taking that wig glue and you'll be able to see i'm just tapping little dots across my hairline where the closure is going to fall you're not going to want to take it all the way around your head like you see a lot of wig tutorials do because i'm actually just using a closure i'm not using a frontal so i'm just going the width of the closure and that's literally it. I'm not gonna take it any bit further and I'm doing a little bit at a time and building that. Doing layers will make sure that your wig stays on longer. If you do one layer, that's more like if you're gonna take it off at the end of the night. But doing multiple layers will make sure that your wig really sticks and really melts 
onto the forehead. And I'm also taking the end of my rat tail comb and just smoothing out that glue because you don't want it to be too chunky or too thick. You want it to lay nice and flat so that your wig lays nice and flat and everything is glued down evenly. So once you let that air dry a little bit, I'm just pulling the lace forward and I'm gonna start to press that lace onto the glue to make sure that the glue really sticks to it. I'm also going to, once I put my phone down, you'll be able to see, I'm taking the comb and I'm just gonna kinda brush it back, brush the hair back, and this will help to push the lace into the glue a lot further. And again, taking my fingers as well, just to really make sure that it's really pressed in. Then once that is done, I'm doing the same method that I did to cut my wig cap and using that to cut my wig and my lace. And I went off camera to kind of make sure that everything was straightened out and make the hair a little more presentable. But here is my end result. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it was entertaining watching this series. Let me know if you like this style and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.